Hi everyone and welcome to Rowdy's Weekly, the final one of the spring season. I'm your host Heather Donnelly and I'm joined here by a guy who scored three goals last week, forward Georgie Ristoff. Thanks for stopping by Rowdy's Weekly. No problem. The U.S. Open Cup is a tournament that you've personally excelled in. You scored a goal on Wednesday against FC Cincinnati, and then a couple years ago in 2013, you scored several go goals for the Rowdies in that tournament as well. What's special about the Open Cup for you? I think uh, every game, uh, no matter what uh, tournament you play, every official game is very important to us, and uh, I don't really separate you know, the, the league games to U.S. Open Cup games. Um, yeah, I was, uh, you know, obviously I scored, uh, you know, a couple of goals the first year when I came here and now uh, on Wednesday, but uh, it's, uh, it's been a very good work from the whole team and, uh, you know, I'm very happy that uh, we're moving forward and uh, we're going to have a, a very, very, very good game in uh, Columbus. Yeah, with your win, you get the opportunity to play an MLS opponent traveling to Columbus and playing the crew next Wednesday. How important is getting a result in that game? It's a, it's a very good opportunity for us um, to you know, compare with the MLS teams. Um, um, obviously, my opinion is that um, our league is not worse than MLS, and uh, we have some really, really good teams. Uh, so as I said, yeah, it will be a good opportunity uh, you know, to see what, the, what their level is, and uh, obviously we're going there for, uh, for a win. So last Wednesday you scored the game winner, and then on Saturday against Ottawa Fury you scored two more goals. Do you feel like you're on a roll? Are you a player that believes in momentum when it comes to stuff like that? Uh, sometimes, yeah, but uh, I think it's a, that's a result of the you know the the very hard work we've all put in. Uh, all the guys, the whole team. Um, you know, you can't really just go out and score goals on your own. Um, the guys, all the guys that, all the ten guys that you know play behind me, has done a very great, a very good job, and um, I'm very happy with that. Um, as long as we win, it's uh, that's the most important thing. On Tuesday, and Monday and Tuesday, we had some crazy weather here in the St. Pete area, and so on Tuesday, you got the opportunity to train at Tropicana Field where the Rays play because it's indoors. What was that like for you? It was a, uh, it was a little different. Uh, I've never been inside the. That arena, it's uh, it's really nice, big. Um, we gotta, you know, thank a lot of um, to our um, you know neighbors, uh, Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, it was it was good. Uh, it helped a lot because uh, you know with all the rain here, people know how it is in Florida. Uh, with all the rain, uh, we didn't have a you know, there was no chance we can train at the stadium or uh, at our. Um, our field at uh, USF, so it was uh, it was good and uh, it was a good experience. Now this Saturday you travel up to Jacksonville for your spring finale. Mathematically, you are still alive in the spring championship. You would have to beat them by at least six goals. Do you think that's possible? Do you think you guys have it in you? Uh, I, I think every, everything is possible in soccer. Everything has happened, you know, everywhere. You know, we have so many examples. Uh, uh, but uh, I think first of all we gotta really uh, go there and uh, respect our opponent because uh, they're a good team. They have very good players, and uh, we just uh, I think we're just gonna go there and start uh, with the mentality to you know win the game and uh, see what happens. Uh, you know, as I said, it's not really right and um, to say that we're gonna go there and score you know six or seven goals. Uh, as I said, uh, respect first, and then we'll do our job and see what happens. All right, thanks, Georgie. Thank you. Now joining me on Rowdy's Weekly is head coach Stuart Campbell. Coach, you're coming off a week where you had three wins in a row. What was that like for you? Yeah, it was great. It was great for the, the players. Obviously, the confidence is high going into a really good game in, in Jacksonville. The three games that we had, it, they, were, they were very tough, starting obviously away at Minnesota, who are one of the best teams in the league. We went there. We performed to a really high level and got a deserved win. Then we come back in the cup against a, a good team in Cincinnati who, who really tested us, obviously put us under pressure towards the end, but the, the guys stood, stood firm. And then finally, that last home game against Ottawa, it was, it was more a mental battle than a physical. Obviously, three games in a week, it, it was very hot. But yeah, we were delighted to get, to get three wins. With so much success recently, what are you doing to keep the momentum going with your guys? Nothing really. We haven't changed anything pretty much uh, all season. As I said, we've been, I've said on numerous occasions. So sorry for repeating myself. The performances have been pretty decent. We just haven't always got the result that we that we deserve. So we all, 
we all believe in what we do and we all stick to the plan. We come in day in, day out, uh, and everybody gives 100%, and that obviously leads to, to getting good results. On Tuesday, thanks to Tropical Storm Colin, you guys couldn't train here. The weather was really bad, so you got to train indoors mm -hmm. in the TROP. How nice is it to have the opportunity to go train, you know, have another team in the area step up and let you use their facilities when the weather's bad? Yeah, great, great by the Rays to, to let us train there. Obviously, we're really grateful. We, we couldn't train on Monday. We had to, had to cancel that completely. Uh, and then thankfully, the Rays let us use uh, the stadium on Tuesday. And it was great. I've been to watch them quite a few times uh, play baseball, which I enjoy. I enjoy baseball. Uh, but then to actually be on the field looking up at the stand, I didn't realise, one, how big the stadium was and two, how far it is to, to actually get a home run. So it was a, it was a great experience and the, the players really enjoyed it. This weekend you travelled to Jacksonville for your last game of the spring season. Mathematically, you're still alive to win the spring championship. You'll have to beat them by at least six goals. Yeah. Is that a result you're focused on or is, is it more just about finishing out the spring strong? It's a bit of both really. I'd, I'd be lying if I hadn't sat here thinking six goal swing uh, would obviously lead us to the championship. But first and foremost, we want to go there and, and win the game, finish the spring season well. And then as the game develops, obviously you, you start to reassess things regarding the, the targets that we have or the targets that we require to, to win the spring league. All right, thanks coach. Thank you.